Hey guys, today we will be going over pros and cons about the new Into the Wild graphic novel. The art is very beautiful and overall soothing to look at. You can tell they put a lot of effort into it. When I met the illustrators, they showed me some behind the scene drawings compared to the final product. While in a Naw with Natalie Reese, she revealed that she chose to make Silver Stream buff because of her father, Crooked Star. She even said she was surprised on how much the fandom loved buff Silver Stream. In another na answer, Sarah Goddard said that she loved Yellowfang, Longtail, and Firestar's designs. She also said that she had trouble designing Darkstripe, but after thinking that since he and Spotted Leaf are related, he could just be a evil Spotted Leaf. I'm honestly glad that they added blood. I was worried that they weren't going to add any because of younger children. Actually, I realized a balance between the two. They did add blood, but it's not to bad which I think is nice. I personally think that they did a great job with the settings. It was exactly how I imagined it. In the main books, Firepaw and Blister have a mother-son relationship, while in the graphic novel, they don't. The deaths in the graphic novel lack emotion and feel making it not feel that bad. Fire and ice feels rushed and unappealing. In the final product, we barely got any context of what's going on. In the novel, during the fight with Longtail he gets his ear ripped, while in the graphic novel he doesn't. In the graphic novel, they decided to switch out Brightkit to Swiftkit, which I don't think is too bad but I liked having Cinderpelt and Brightheart sisters. In conclusion, I think that the graphic novel is an amazing book and I highly recommend reading it.